Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shia, and today I have a surprise for you. I'm doing a Shein haul. It's the 2020, I guess, version haul, including with the spring, summer. Like it's it's a mix in there. If you don't know what Shein is, it's actually a clothing website. They also sell home stuff and a set of men's clothing. Shein is super affordable despite the pros and cons because they do have a lot of hit and miss which you will see throughout my video of, of me trying it on. By the way, I did purchase a Shein way before some clothing I didn't really like but now since I'm a little bit smarter on what to choose, here are my tips of buying clothing from Shein. Hopefully this will help you out. I usually go to the Daily New. That's where they have better quality fabrics, but sometimes they still sell like the old version, just different color or different designs on the clothing itself. Other than that, I go into the Daily they have so many like pretty cute stuff. So number one, check into the daily. Number two, check the reviews. And number three, try to zoom in the picture to see how the fabric really is, you know, before buying it. Because I know a lot of people have issues with the, the see-through and other stuff, how the hands are sewn and stuff. Check the size because their size are off, legit. Like, when I buy a small, it fits a medium. When I buy extra small, it fits a small. But sometimes extra small is too small. So it's very confusing. So, like I said, go back to number two, which is the reviews. Check the reviews and they'll tell you, like, to size up or size down. So it's very, it's very annoying. Like, you had to do extra work. I mean, I don't blame it. You get what you pay for, right? Alicean is affordable, super cute clothing, fabric materials, I'm not sure, it's a hit and miss, but that's my trick into like buying stuff from Shein. Therefore, when I do try out the clothing coming up soon, my sizes are from extra small to small, and I will put them in the box below or somewhere on the side for you guys to see the size I purchase. That way it can help you get a guide of what size you are as well. Before I start showing you the videos of the clothing, I do want to let you guys know I will be sectioning it from tops to two-piece and dresses. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started into this clothing haul. Starting off with a cut tie bustier top. The color for now, I believe they only have one, which is pastel pink. Super cute. I love how the details, it has mesh on the side of the sleeves. And it's not see-through from the, the bust area. And it is padded and has a little, like, I guess, silicone secure on the top where they glued it or attached to it. That way... You don't have to wear a bra and you just put it on and then it sticks. And the length from, I guess this, yeah, the length sits pretty good on my shoulder towards my bust area, which is super nice because I did have issue with other products where the band on the shoulder does lift up past my chest area and it really pissed me off because I'm like, yeah, their hems are off, their sewing's off. This one is actually pretty decent. 
One issue I did have is the sleeves. If you can see that it has like two bands, it's super tight. It's way too tight. But at first when I put it on, yeah, I feel the tightness. But after that, it kind of goes away. <laughs> My blood stop, y'all. I love how the back has so much detail. It comes with this tie at the top and also a tie at the bottom. And you could tie it so many different ways. You could tie it from the front or you could tie it from the back. Super, super cute. And I love that. One of the reasons why I really like this one is because it's cute and it's like a spring and summer vibe for me. The second piece is a tie back crop top. The prints are daisy floral or just daisy itself. It's super, super cute. I, I just like everything about it. It has like a short sleeves that puffs out that puffs out with ruffles on the side of the sleeves. And this one does not have a padded in like the first top I showed you guys. As you can see, it's very flimsy. The material is it's thin, but it's not see-through, which is I guess good. I feel like this could fit both, I guess, small and big bust, but if you have a bigger bust, this would be really, really fabulous on you. Once again, this second top does have a tie where you can style it from the front or the back. Super cute. I like that idea. And since it doesn't have a pad, I would recommend a strapless bra or just like a nipple cover. It works both ways. I like this top because I never own a green top, which is a A+. Plus. And this is probably my first green top that has Daisy and it's super cute. So this third top is an off shoulder. So freaking cute. When I saw this, I was like, yeah, it's a must buy. The color, I believe, is just this itself. It's so different from how the model was wearing it because when the model in the picture it showed like the, the base of the fabric was super white but when I received it it looks more of a tinted blue so keep in mind she and colors are different from receiving it in person and then showing on the models but sometimes it's true to colors and sometimes it's not true to how they display it on the models filters. Other than that, in person the colors are super vibrant. I like how the details are very ruffle on the outlines of this. The ruffles are outlined everywhere from top to the back, from the bottom to the sleeves. And the sleeves are poofy but they're not that poofy so it's it's decent. I like that. The strings are adjustable. Onto the fourth piece, it's a crop top. And I feel like it's like a crop top bra, but it's not. It's just, yeah, it's just a crop top. So when I first saw this, they only had one color, which was a very light cool tone blue. But now they have so many colors you can choose from. The material is not see-through, thank goodness. It's very thin. It does have a texture to the material itself. The shoulders are poofy. I think it's a bit too poofy. I didn't have any issue wearing this, especially if you're scared that this might go up and show your bust. Yeah, I didn't have any issue. It was super secure at the bottom that it hold on to my cleavage. I do hate that. You do need to iron this because when I received it, it was so wrinkly that it looked so different from how the model was wearing it. So when I ironed it out, it looked a little bit better. So keep in mind, you do have to iron this, even if you wash it. Honestly, all these clothes I purchased, I don't know how they would end up after washing it and drying it. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. But if I do know, check my Instagram. I really like how crop top this is. The design of it, the structure, and you can pair this off with high waisted. The fifth top is a floor print tank crop that has a V or a 
rounded V, <laughs> the curved V at the front. This is the only color in the design itself. I'm not sure if they're gonna make other colors. The material is super sturdy in the front. I really like that. It's not see-through. It's it's thick material as well. So I like that a lot. The top does have a square structure, which is so feminine. The straps are not adjustable, which is one of a downfall. I would wear a strapless ball to secure this from coming off. Unless if you have like a big bust, you're good. You know, you're good. I like how detailed they made this top. As you can see, so in the front, you can see that it has these little clip where you can open it and, you know, style it however you want. And it does come with a zipper at the back, which is awesome. So you could adjust it like, so if you get, if you have a small, I, I believe if you wear small, medium would fit because you, there's so many adjustments on here that you can, it could just fit you, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but other than that, yeah. For the sixth piece, I have a cami crop top. I got the color red. This one does have multiple colors to choose from as well. This rib material is very decent. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. As you can see in the front, it has the word babe. I thought that was very simple, minimal, cute. I like how the cut is square, very sexy and fun for anything. There's nothing much to say about this top except how decent it is. So yeah, it's a it's a win-win. Definitely get this top. It's not see-through, it's just very simple and cute. For the seventh piece, I have a Thai cardigan. This for sure is super trendy. I got the color light blue and yellow. This cardigan does have multiple colors to choose from. As for the material, it's rib. I do have a complaint. It's see-through. I didn't really like it. Just make sure you wear, like I said, a nipple cover, strapless bra, maybe a tank top under. If you have time, go ahead and sew like a extra fabric inside and then it will solve the problem. There is an issue with the sizing. Since this is an extra small, I do have a complaint that it is too tight. Now that I know the size, I would have size up. Well, now that I know, next time I will size up because I feel like extra small is too tight. If I got small, then it would have been perfect fit on me. Other than that, I made it work with this video. I like the V in the front. You can even tie it or leave it open however you want to style it. Super, super girly. You can even wear this for church. For the eighth piece, I do have another tie cardigan, except this one is stripes. As far as the color go, I think this is the only one that I know of. As for the material, I feel like it's different from the last one that I showed you guys. It's more thick, and I felt both of them. So it's completely different. So this one does have a different material. Same thing as the last one, a V, a tie. You can style it open or tie it up. Same thing with the last one. I wish what I knew now. I would probably have sized up. Other than that, there's no complaint with this one. This one's really good. Last but not least, I have another tie crop top. I got the color light pink. 
I do know they have a purple color, but it's not listed under the description they have on there. The material is thin. It feels like swimming cloth, if you know what I mean. It's just make sure you wear like a nipple cover. Issues with the sizing. I feel like now that I know, I should have went with small, so do size up if you plan to get this top. I had issues with this. I don't know if it's because it's too small, but like when I try to move my hands up and down, like this would slide up. It doesn't have anything to secure like the bottom of your cleavage, so make sure you wear like a strapless bra or yeah, strapless bra or just size up. If if I had small, I feel like if I move my hands, maybe like my cleavage, you know, I, I wouldn't be flashing anyone. I really love this style. I just wish I sized up, got a small. So I do want to return it back to get a small, but goodness, we all know their shipping takes forever. I don't have the patience for that because I had the patience of waiting for these to come in. Took like a whole month, legit, because of this COVID. It it just took forever. Aside from the tops, I did pair up the last one with this skirt. It's an asymmetrical skirt. I believe this is the only color and design they have on there. The material is see-through. I don't mind doing extra work, putting another layer under it. If not, just wear a undergarment that are meant for skirts. I like how detailed this skirt is. It has ruffles at the bottom, so it really does bring style to it. I also love how they added a belt. So if you don't want to wear this belt, you can wear other belts to attach with this dress, I mean with the skirt. I was disappointed in the hems, how they sewn it at the waist because it's uneven and it looks weird when I was wearing it. I don't, yeah, it just looked weird, but then I managed to work my way through it. This skirt is definitely perfect for the beach. It's like a tropical print on it. I really like the color and the designs on it and everything. That's why I got it. Despite the issue with the hems and the see-through, it's, come on, it's cute. Moving on to the two pieces. I have a top and a skirt. They're a set. This is the only color and design they have on their website. The material is very sheer. It's, it's see-through. I didn't have problems with wearing it without a nipple cover, like, yeah, it, it was, it was okay, I don't know, but if you do want to wear a nipple cover, I do recommend that. Other than that, the skirt is not see-through, it's double layer, thank goodness, first time. I love how you can style it with the top, you can tie it into a knot, how, however you want it. Despite from the top that has a tie, the skirt also has a zipper on the side, which is nice. I do want to talk about the sleeves. It's long and it's, it's not poofy. It's very flowy. So I had no issue with that. It's very flattering as a two-piece. The color is different from how the model was wearing it. It was a bit vibrant when it came in the mill, so the color is more vibrant than it is on the model. I would definitely wear this for like a festival, a fair, something that does with outdoors. Super flattering. The second piece, the second two piece I have looks like a romper, but it's not a romper, it's two piece. There's only one color. And I like how it has the print of florals, the colors are like green and pink. It's just so pretty. The material, it 
It's not see-through in the front, but it is see-through on the sleeves. So the sleeves are like a sheer, and then the front, I can see that they double layered it, which is good. Same with the bottom, which is a short, not a skirt. It's double layered, so it's not see-through. I forgot to mention that this short does have a zipper on the side as well. I like how they detailed it with the back, which you can tie it and it's like a lace-up tie. And I like the front where it shows like a V. So make sure you wear a nipple cover or just silicone to lift up that cleavage. And it does have ruffles towards the bottom of the top and the bottom of the shorts. They complement each other. I really like everything about this two-piece. The cool thing is with this two-piece, it has a button where you can attach it to the front. I mean, where you can attach it to the top. If not, you can just unbutton it and then tuck in this top and then it'll just look like a two-piece showing your belly button. But if you don't want that, just go ahead and button up and it looks like a romper, which it's not a romper, it's a two-piece. It's very flattering. I love, love, love this. I just wish that the shorts wouldn't flare out too much because I have like short legs and my legs are skinny and it looks weird if you know what I mean. For the last piece I saved for the best is a dress. I originally was supposed to have two dresses, but I forgot about the other dress and I didn't film it so I was like forget it we'll just we'll just do with this one. And it is a cami dress. It's very long. I like it because for me, long dresses makes you look very feminine. They only have one color that I know of, which is a light pastel purple. I don't know on there it said pink, but it's it's not pink. The color from the model and in person is totally different. And it does have daisy print all over it and a scrunchie at the back. For the shoulders, you do have to tie them, which is nice. You can adjust it however you want. It does not come with any pads. I like how the front of this has like these little, I guess, details. Make it look like it's a bustier, but it's not. I, I can't explain it, but I like how they detail that right there. This dress also does have a zipper on the side which is really nice and a little clip just to be secured and it's very tailored at your waist and then kind of like flare out at the bottom and it does have a split towards the end of the dress a yeah, split cut which is so flattering like i said this is very feminine Long dress with a split, you're going to look so feminine in it despite how girly it is. I have nothing wrong to say about this. Oh, I forgot to mention, the material is thin, but it is double layered at the bust area. Super cute. I, I love it. I got nothing bad to say about it. So, Thank you guys for watching my clothing haul. Comment down below which piece you liked. For me... Out of the whole display I showed you in my video, I would say that my favorite piece was the two piece I showed you guys. Both of them. I keep saying two piece. Okay. Both of them. Like, it's like screaming, yeah, that's me, that's my style. So I like that. So if you guys are worried like, okay, should I try shopping at Shein since it's a hit and a miss, I would recommend, like I said, look at the reviews. If you're scared of the product, the fabric, let's just, I'm just going to put it out there. All the clothing I had, the fabric will be thin. Some of them will be thick, but f so far all my clothings were like thin. I do know they have premium clothing, but I don't know how 
the fabrics are. I hope you guys enjoyed my first clothing haul on YouTube. I also wanted to wish safety for everyone out there, especially during this situation. I don't know what's going out there because the more I look at it, the more it just breaks my heart. I want everyone to be safe. A lot's going on. And prayers go out for families, those who are sick, you know, the whole world that's going through a lot. Not just the nature or the chaos itself. Everyone in general are going through a lot of things, even if it's not related to the news, to the virus. I just wish y'all the happiness you need, especially with this crisis that's going on. Alright, thank you guys for watching my video. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.